Good morning. I have a wire brush here. A couple of dirty paint brushes. I'm going to make them clean. I am. I am. Let's get at it. Was going to do this outside, but uh, it's decided to start to rain. So, let's just do it here. Gently. Well, we're just going to give them a plenum, preliminary, preliminary, not preliminary, it's just a little wipe off with the, the rag. You can see they're not perfect and they're not going to be. The reason they're not going to be is because they're rough brushes they're for rough painting and that's what they're going to do next um, typically they sh they should have been thrown away but why throw them away when you can use them again for some other job that's going to be just as nasty and icky and so let's uh let's use them for for that now the job i had in mind of these was to paint the McGregor trailer but uh, it's raining again it doesn't look like we're gonna get to painting it today so we're gonna let them rest That's how you paint the inside of your garbage can. Again, rough painting. So, I'm, uh, <laughs> I told me I, I can't go to the club. There's so much stuff around here I have to do. Uh, now I'm out of time. I don't have time to go to the club today. So, that's going to have to happen another day when I grind the trailer got to get all the rust off of it and then paint it uh, that's for the Mac this this is a plastic ammo box uh, just like kind of this one came from the same place Princess Auto I bought the big one to be uh, a box in the bilge of the McGregor because it's waterproof I really don't need the waterproofness uh, because it's uh, the, the hull doesn't let water in. So, anyways, so we ended up getting some other bins from IKEA that fit in easier because this is uh, this is kind of tough to get in. You have to use both hands to get this in, and you have to have the bilge open all the way. Which typically doesn't happen. If you're gonna get into the build, you open it up with one hand and pull stuff out with the other, because it it's not hinged. It, there's typically a cushion on top of it. So I've got another plan for this. This is going to go in the new car. It's going to be the toolbox and towing box. So I'll keep all the the straps and the. Uh, ball hitches and all that stuff in here and then I can tie this down too it's not gonna fly around in the event of an accident and, uh, yeah so it'll work well now I've just got to clean this out because it's got stuff in it that's not towing stuff and uh, so I'll clean it out it's got boat stuff in it and uh, We'll stick it away someplace where we can get at it later. Mr. Heater. Hand warmers. There's a 
20 of these in here. Uh, 20 pairs, or 10 pairs. These uh, are great for that winter camping or winter boating. Like, throw one in your sleeping bag before you go to bed. But half an hour before you go to bed, and it is toasty warm. Uh, so, those. We've got some uh, this stuff. This is a little fishing kit thing that uh, Jasmine's grandpa gave her. This has got to go on the boat. <clears throat> There's a little boat toolbox. This has uh, different stuff in it. Not a lot of stuff. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna repurpose this. And uh, yeah, I'll repurpose it and make it uh, well have another purpose because I do have another boat toolbox which is just like this. And these are handy because, well, you throw it in the bilge, you can throw it in the lake, and it's uh, not going to leak. This leaks pretty bad. And look, here's my, my, uh, come on, my saw. We're going to bring this on the next little adventure, and we're going to bring an axe too, but we'll bring this because it makes, uh, cutting stuff up uh, really quick. Just heard the university. They have a siren for uh, tornadoes and stuff. I don't know if you heard it or not. Yeah, they said that. And they have a loudspeaker that say, this is a test. Uh, well, it's not a test. They just sound the siren and say, tornado approaching or tornado warning or whatever. Uh, they do that a couple times a year. Okay, my box is empty. Now let's find some towing stuff to put in it. Not towing stuff, but it's needed, so I'll throw these in. Towing strap. You thought I meant towing the trailer, didn't you? Well, I do mean that, but it's nice to have a recovery strap if, uh, yeah, they come in handy. Then you can recover stuff. Look at that. That's brand spanking new. It's a 2 inch, 15 foot, 5,000 pound ratchet strap. So this is uh, it's a ratchet strap. You know what they're for. Just grab my insulated gloves to throw in. Good thing I pulled them apart. Look at that. I don't know what in the world I did, but uh, this one's only got one thumb now. Uh, these are, these are going in the bin. No idea what would have caused that. Obviously something caustic, maybe? I don't know. I've never seen leather go, like, squishy. Okay, need another pair of gloves. Got a pair of rubber ones. Uh, I still want a pair of uh, leather ones in here, too, so... I think I'm going to have to pick up a pair. Put it on the list. What I found one, 
too. Perfect. This is from, these are from a bag of gloves from uh, the olden days when I had to, had to have working gloves all the time. So these are going in. If you ever have to change a tire on the side of the road, these things are great. Um, it's a safety vest. Oh, and you know what? This isn't even conforming. Well, this is a non-conforming safety vest. The front's supposed to have two stripes down and the back's supposed to have an X. This has stripes on both sides. That's not right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna stick it in here until I replace it. This is a, a little drop sheet. It's just part of a tarp and it's 34 by 44. But it's the perfect size for putting on the ground and laying on to get underneath something. So if you have to get under the car on the side of the road, it's handy to have this in the, in the tool kit or towing kit. Plumbing fittings. They shouldn't be here. They should be elsewhere. They should be at the shop is where they should be. Um, we'll throw them in the... I don't know if I'll throw them in the car now or not. No, I'll set them aside now. Put them in. Take them to the shop later. So I've, I've gone and put that in the car. Can't see. I can see a little bit of the car. Uh, took a look at our solar. It's doing great. We're at 14.2 for our float, which is perfect. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up there. i got to go in the house and see what else she wants me to do. I know there's a big list. Thanks for watching. Click clicky things. And uh, we'll see you. Oh, yeah, no hugs and all that stuff. Be nice to people. Wear a mask. See you tomorrow.